what she'll do. She's packing a heavy load. Yeah, that's right. Hey, Carl, open that tank now. Demand to be released. Keep still if you know what's good for you. Sit down. Yes? This is Stoner. We have Scott at the Waterfront Laboratory. Splendid, Stoner. Splendid. I'll be over there soon. Yes, sir. Gordon, I've got to get rid of that gasoline truck. We can't leave it standing outside. Keep a close watch on him. Smoke? No, thanks. Would you like to make a lot of money? I get it. You want me to help you get away? Yes. I'll pay you well. What good would money do me? I can't get away from Dr. Satan. But with money, you could get away. Go anywhere. Not while I wear this control disc. Dr. Satan can take my life at any minute. Can't you take it off? No. If any of us try to remove our discs, we'd be electrocuted through them. I see. It's fiendish. But there must be a way to transfer the action of the ray. I can use this as a neutralizer. If you only get this thing off me, I'll do anything I can to help you. It's a bargain. I'm sure there'll be no difficulty. Take off your coat. Stand on this rubber mat. It'll act as insulation. I know you're a great scientist. Get out of here. Come on. Stop.
Dr. Satan. We'll use him to get us by the guards. Cover up. You can go now, Scarlett. I want to talk privately with Mr. Scott. I'm going, but I'm taking him with me, Dr. Satan. What does this mean? It means that you can't dictate to me anymore. I see. Our scientific friend has liberated you. You're very clever, Mr. Scott. You're coming along with us, Dr. Satan. Get away from that desk and put up your hands. You'll never get me past the guards. That's what you think. We're going out the back way. Take him out. As one scientist to another, don't you admire my robot? It's horrible. You like it better after you've worked on it. I work on it? That's why you're here. At present, I can only control this robot over a short distance. But with your remote control cell built in, I can send this robot and hundreds like it all over the country. With my army of mechanical men, I can seize wealth and power beyond limit. And you expect me to put my invention to such a use? I don't expect. I command. Will you start work at once, or shall I turn on the robot again? All right, I'll do it. Look over the material we have. If there is anything else you need, my men will get it for you. What do you suppose Dr. Satan intends to do with Father? He'll probably try to make him build another remote control cell. That'll take time and should give us a chance to locate him. The radio! Dad has his own private wavelength. If he ever gets a chance, he'll call this station. Good. We'll leave it tuned in and keep someone listening here all the time. Shortwave messages? Not yet. There's some sort of a whistling noise coming over. You hear that? It's Father's favorite tune, the Bluebells of Scotland. That must mean something. Need any help with that? No, thanks. I can't go on with this work without an RX transformer. An RX transformer? Yes, it's a transformer sold only by the Sterling Electric Company at 1103 Cellar Street. It's Father's voice. Okay, we'll get you one. Where'd you say this place is? 1103 Cellar Street. Why won't you come with me? Farmer, you stay here. We'll be right back. 1103 Cellar Street. You stay here, Lois. I'll contact you later. Pardon me. Yeah? Have two men been here to buy an RX transformer? 
Why, yes, they just left. Why, there they go around the corner now. Thanks. Corwin and Hallett. I needed a transformer. I sent them for it. Go in the hall and watch. Send them in as soon as they return. My guards. Sit down, Mr. Scott. Put your hands behind you. I haven't heard an alarm from my guards. It's coming toward this room. at him, Mr. Scott. Palmer. Yes, Dr. Satan. You got your own man. Drop that gun. Get over there. Turn around. Don't move. As soon as I release Mr. Scott, I'm going to turn you over to the police. 